Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan, and today I am making a video about my 3D printed airplane wing prototype. Now I have designed and manufactured 3D printed airplanes in the past, however this was more of an experiment on an idea I had for a better way to build airplane wings. The way most RC airplane wings are built uh, is by basically building the wing, cutting out a space for the aileron, which is here. This is the control surface in charge of roll of the aircraft. Basically, once they've cut out this shape, they attach a hinge here uh, so that this flap can, or the aileron can actuate back and forth. Once they had the hinge and the aileron separated from the wing and attached, you had a little servo somewhere right in front of, of the, in front of the control surface. You then connect the servo output using a servo horn and some piano wire to act as a linkage to the control surface. And basically, that's the setup that you have to control your aileron. And that is probably 95% of RC planes work that way. If you go online and search RC plane uh, aileron or servo linkage or whatever, that is 95% of, of the airplanes, uh, or at least RC airplanes that you'll see. That's how they're built. And that's not optimal because basically what the issue is, is you're, you're changing the shape of the airfoil, you're adding additional structure that isn't part of the airfoil uh, cross-section, you're going to have more induced drag, your airplane's going to generate less lift, your wing's going to generate less lift, you're going to have more weight out from the center of the mass because you have the servo there, you have the linkage, you have the, the hinge holding the, the control surface on, and none of that contributes to any kind of structural aspect of the aircraft. It's not a structural member, it's strictly there to actuate the servo and it adds actually a significant amount of weight uh, on the tip of the wing, which is not ideal. So my solution to this issue is basically this. Uh, I'm just gonna set one wing uh, aside because they're uh, a mirror image of each other and they're pretty much the exact same. But basically my solution uh, was to basically include these two structural carbon fiber beams to not only hold the two parts of the wing together, it's made up of these two halves, the one half with the tip and the control surface and the other half with the motor here. Uh, basically these beams, these carbon fiber beams, hold the whole thing together, but it also serves the purpose of a hinge and a control mechanism for the control surface. So what I mean by that is if I twist this beam that goes along the entire length of the wing. So it makes it extremely strong. Uh, the 3D printed alone, the, the layer lines are oriented in this way, which is not ideal because the wing has loading. It will try to bend and snap the layers apart. So this rod, both the rods help in that regard, but it also serves the purpose of a hinge. Uh, so you don't need an additional hinge here. And it also serves as a, a replacement for the control linkages. So you don't need any kind of servo horn. You don't need any linkage. All you do is twist the structural rod and the aileron follows. And that's really great because it allows me to have this super clean airplane wing design. Like there's no way I could have fit a servo in here uh, and uh, had a hinge and all of that for the same weight, have it be this clean. This is really great because the airfoil is gonna work as optimally as it can. You're uh, eliminating the weight of an extra hinge or eliminating the weight of the servo all the way out there so the airplane will be more nimble. It will generate more lift. It will fly for longer. And those are all great things because there are no negative side effects, at least that I've realized of this design. So I had to figure out a way to actually twist these rods because I'm not gonna be in the airplane when it's flying to do that. Uh, so there's two ways that I've come up with doing that. One way is just the traditional linkage technique, like I said. So you're not giving up the linkage. You're basically just moving it off the center, uh, off the tip of the wing towards the center of the plane. So you're still going to be able to turn quicker. You're going to have the clean wing. You're not going to have the hinge. You're still using a link with linkage, which is okay. I, I'm a fan of linkages, uh, but sometimes they're a little finicky and they can definitely break. And if you were going to go with the linkage, this is what I've come up with for that. So basically I've 3D printed this little servo horn type thing here that has a, a screw and a nut embedded in it that basically allows me to attach a servo to this and ultimately uh, control the link, the, the control surfaces on the tip. So you just, there's a little hole on the tip of this linkage here. You would attach it to a servo and it works like any other RC plane would. Another technique, and I think the cooler technique that I've come up with is uh, basically using a, almost like a differential gearbox. So basically for the ailerons, when one goes up, you, you want one to go down. So as one's twisting forward, you need one to twist back. And, uh, and the opposite is true as well. So if you're, one's going forward, one's going back, one's going back, one's going forward. 
And you could do that with the servo linkage. You could just have like a bell crank type of mechanism. Uh, but I, I'm, I said I like linkages, but they definitely can have issues at time. They, they're a little finicky to set up and they can, they can definitely break. So what I've come up with is this differential 3D printed gearbox. So it basically has two bevel gears inside uh, with a 80, 87 degree uh, bevel angle, which allows me to actually have the airplane wings with the three degree dihedral, which is really great. Uh, and I think that might be a little trickier if you did the linkage mechanism. This whole thing's really solid. So I'm gonna open it up and you guys can see what's inside. But basically there are these two holes on either side of the gearbox, uh, which would then have these, uh, the carbon fiber rods inserted through those holes. And on the other side of the holes, there are gears. And on those gears, there are uh, clamps similar to this clamp here that basically would clamp onto the rod, hold onto the rod. And uh, the gears on either side rotate in opposite directions just because of the nature of how gears work. It's a bevel gear, you guys. We'll see that uh, when I open it up. But I really like this, this design uh, over the linkages because it's pretty compact. You just throw it right in the, in the fuselage, right between the wings. And I think it would, it's really sturdy, uh, so that's, it's cool. It's just held together with those four screws. You can see here, this is the output that's connected to this 9G servo. It's just the servo's held on with two screws that just go straight into the plastic. Uh, and then this gear attaches to the output of that. You can hear it moving and it, it's very smooth. There's no backlash on that. And then this is the output case. So you can see there's the two bearings here. They're very smooth. It's a very satisfying uh, feeling when you rotate them. Uh, it's very smooth and uh, there's no friction or nothing grabs ever. And you can see those, the two screws that I was talking about, one on uh, either gear that hold onto the shaft. So there's a nut and a screw and you essentially insert the, the carbon fiber rod into either hole and then tighten it down. Uh, they're at 87 degrees, like I said, to get the three degree dihedral, so they'll induce a little bit of uh, induced stability in the plane. These bearings, uh, I'm sorry, these gears have bearings in them, which is why they're so smooth. So there are these bearings and they attach to either side of the case. The case is split because you couldn't uh, insert the gears otherwise, uh, because there's a little peg on either half the case that is inserted into the bearing there. Uh, but assembly wise, it's very easy. I really like it. There's just two screws that hold on these two halves and uh, it fits really well. You just basically put that on and then you put the first four screws on and that's the whole assembly. So basically you would just, you would put this right in between of the two wings like this. Uh, either shaft would go into the hole and that's it. They would, the two gears on either side rotate in opposite directions because it's kind of like a differential. Uh, you can see a little bit more closely here the, the, the clamping mechanism there and the bearing as well. Uh, but in general, it's a really cool design. I think it would work really well. Like you're gonna get longer flying times. You're gonna have a more nimble, agile aircraft. You're gonna have less drag, which like I said, will allow you to fly longer, probably faster as well. Uh, but in general, I, I really like it because it's in, in the same light as my uh, in structural integral battery pack. I was able to take one aspect of the airplane and have it serve more purpose than it typically would. Uh, so instead of having a hinge and a dedicated linkage mechanism with the servo on the tip of the wing, the structure of the wing is also part of the hinge and part of the actualization mechanism. So you're saving weight, you're cleaning up the wing, you're allowing the plane just to operate much more uh, optimally like it should. You're, you're not disrupting the shape of the airfoil. And in general, I think it's a really cool idea. I am considering uh, putting this in a plane that will fly. I've actually started a little bit of development, but I haven't pursued that much recently because I've been working on a few other projects. But if you'd like to see that, let me know. Uh, but like I said, this was an experiment. I think it was a success. It proved my idea to be a, a reasonable, acceptable, probably a better idea than the way most aircraft are built. I don't know how this would look if you weren't 3D printing it, how you would manufacture this, but 3D printing a, a wing like this worked really well. And I'm, I'm really happy with it. I like it. So I hope you learned something new. I hope you found this interesting. If you end up building a plane like this, please let me know. I'd love to see it. This is Levi Sheridan. Have a nice day.